Okay, so welcome to channel everyone. Now uh, today's topic is going to be a little bit off topic because uh, this was a demand from my student and nowadays I have uh, like uh, in the recent days I would say I have received uh, lots of DMs over a WhatsApp and other platforms saying that that uh, so if you can suggest me a laptop which I can purchase for a coding, for a data science, for a generative AI, for a big data, for a data analytics, which is not going to give me a problem at least for next couple of year. And uh, my budget is around 50,000, right? My budget is around 50,000. So that was a demand. That was a demand from my student. And even today I have like uh, seen so many DMs uh, stating the exact same thing. So keeping that in mind, I thought of creating this video and uh, what I have done. So I have listed down a couple of laptops, which is going to fulfill a requirement. So I have selected like a six or seven uh, laptop. So which is going to fulfill all the criteria. So my criteria was very simple. So whenever you're trying to do a coding or maybe data science project or maybe generative AI project, maybe a big data project, maybe anything into a uh, coding or maybe into a IT industry a bare minimum configuration for your laptop should be i5 and 16 GB of RAM and 512 GB of a hard disk SSD, right? So keeping that in mind, and again, price was a major constraint, right? Price was a literally major, major constraint because we all understand that, okay, uh, maybe we are not in a situation to invest a lot, like a two lakh, three lakh rupees just on a laptop. And again, it's, it's not required, right? It's not required unless and until you're not building your entire customized system or maybe you are going to do some heavy, heavy work on a single system because majority of time we are going to build a project and we will be using a cloud platform, right? We will be using cloud platform. So keeping that in our mind, so I have selected some of these laptops which is going to fulfill a criteria and uh, almost all of these laptops will be in between uh, 50,000 rupees or around 50,000 rupees, you can say INR, yeah? So the very first laptop which I have selected is uh, basically Dell Inspiron 3535 and it comes with basically 16 GB of a RAM, 512 GB of a hard disk and AMD Ryzen is a processor. So AMD Ryzen 5 processor you will be able to get inside this particular laptop, light weighted and thin. If I'll talk about a price, so as of now the current price which it is showing me is uh, 42,840 rupees. So again, under budget, right? Under 50,000, simple. Now, the second laptop, again, it's coming from a Dell, right? So at least for next two, two and a half year, without any kind of a worries, without any kind of a headache, you will be able to do your programming, your coding, anything that you want, anything and everything. Now, the second one, which I have selected is again Dell Inspiron 3530, which is somehow uh, like a little bit of upgradation from the previous one. And here, so you will be able to get a different processor. So here processor is from Intel, Intel i5 processor. You will be able to get 16 GB of RAM, 512 GB of a hard disk. Again, it's going to be a thin lightweight laptop, but price is little bit on a higher side. So the price for this one was 42,840 and price for this one is 54,490. But again, it's a good one, right? Again, it's a good one that you all will be able to get. And at least for a couple of years, it is not going to give you any kind of a issue, any kind of a problem. Now, so these two are from Dell. Now coming to the next one, a Lenovo. So from Lenovo, IdeaPad Slim Laptop, which is again getting a lot of popularity. So it is coming up with a Intel Core i5 processor, 16 GB of a RAM, 512 GB of a hard disk, and uh, price is 56,990 rupees. Uh, not uh, too much deviation, I would say, from a uh, 50,000. And again, it's a good deal that you all are going to get, I believe in this particular price tag, which is going to fulfill all your need for a coding, programming, or like a building a project into a data science, generative AI on all of those things. Now, the another one is basically Asus Vivo Book 15th, 13th generation Intel, again, i5 processor, 16 GB of a RAM, 512 GB of a hard disk that you are going to get. And price is again under budget, 51,990 rupees. Simple, right? So this is again another one. Now, the next one is basically Asus VivoBook 15 AMD Ryzen processor. So, the previous one was having an Intel i5 and this one is having AMD Ryzen 7 processor and 16 GB of a RAM, 512 GB of a hard disk, 45,000. So, wherever you will be able to see this AMD Ryzen processor, right? So, price will be a little bit lower and wherever you will see a Intel processor, so obviously price will be a little bit higher side. 
But again, both the deals are completely fine. You can go ahead with any of these deals. Uh, again, so it's just fluctuating around 50,000. So I don't think that it is going to give you much of concern by the way. Now, then another one is basically VOBook 15th, 13th generation Intel Core i5. Slim, slim thin, lightweighted and 16 GB of a RAM, 512 GB of a hard disk. Again, you are going to get price is 47,000. 990 rupees plus one more laptop I have selected which is on a little bit of higher side I would say right uh, Asus VivoBook 13th generation but this one is giving you i7 processor yeah i7 processor so it will be obviously like uh, faster as compared to the previous one and 16 GB of a RAM 1 TB of a hard disk all of you are going to get price is little bit higher from a 50,000 that was a budget that we have proposed in a beginning, right? And that was the budget that my student has basically asked for. But yeah, so all of this laptop is worth, worth uh, like a uh, buying and uh, you will be able to do each and everything with respect to a programming, coding, data science, data analytics, big data or whatever, maybe a web development or any other stuff that you are going to do. These laptops are going to fulfill all of your need. And at least, at least for next like a couple of years, it is not going to give you any kind of a problem. Apart from that, so obviously they are giving you a guarantee and warranty as well, all right? Uh, again, please uh, read out all those terms before buying a laptop. I'm not promoting, I'm just trying to suggest to my student that, okay, so these are the laptops that you can try to buy. Maybe you can go with the i5, maybe you can go with the i7 and it is going to fulfill your need, as simple as that. So hope uh, this is clear to all of you and uh, this entire list, a list of this seven laptop I'm going to attach in a description so that so that you can check this out and again so if you will come to a Amazon website so it is going to give you a lot of recommendation a lot of comparison uh, if, if you will come over here so please look into that and then you can try to make a decision to buy any of these laptop because I know uh, 50,000 is not a small amount right and we are trying to make an investment for a learning purposes. So again, uh, our emotions are attached with, our emotions will be attached with this particular laptop, right? And uh, it should work at least for next couple of year. It should not like uh, give you any kind of uh, issues. So please, before buying, make sure that you have read all the comments, all the reviews which people have given and uh, you have done a proper investigation. From my side, I have done the investigation uh, in terms of a configuration, in terms of a price budget. But yeah, so before making a decision, this is a recommendation to all of you that please go and check out its review, what people are talking about. And then obviously price comparison is the very first thing that comes in our mind. So obviously you should do that price comparison and then make a decision of buying any of these laptops. So with that, thank you so much everyone, take care and uh, see you again in my upcoming video on our channel.